Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we're going to explain how to fix Microsoft Edge not playing YouTube videos. So let's head off to YouTube and you'll see you just get a black screen. There are several things that can cause this uh, black screen on YouTube in Microsoft Edge. So we'll go through and we'll explore each of them. The first thing to look for is your settings, in particular, the GPUs. Click the three dots in the top right hand corner for settings and more. Go down to settings. Then select System and Performance. And here you will see Use Graphics Acceleration when available. Click on that. And you have to restart your browser for that to take effect. So let's do that. And we'll go right back to where we were in just a moment. There, now I've relaunched the browser and let's head off to uh, YouTube. Let's bring up a new tab. Let's see if that fixed it. Kind of doubt it. No, we're still stuck. Okay, so that wasn't it. The second thing that might be causing just of a black screen in Microsoft Edge on YouTube videos is smart screen. So smart screen is a reputation based filter that Microsoft uh, makes available for free to you. It's usually very good, but could cause a problem. It could be blocking YouTube. So let's go turn that off next. So we'll uh, close this window because it's not necessary. Click start and go to your settings. Same in Windows 10 or Windows 11, uh, this part. And uh, in Windows 11, you'll go down to Windows Defender. In Windows 11, you simply type in Smart Screen in the top here. And you will see Reputation-Based Protection. Uh, but we'll go the slightly longer way so you can follow it. So go to, we'll go to Windows Security, then Browser Control, and then Reputation-Based Protection. And here is Smart Screen. Just turn it off and it says, hey, that's not the best idea. Yep, I know. That's fine. And we can close that. And ooh, there is a fresh browser window. Let's go to YouTube. Nope, it's still not working. Third thing is to reset flags in uh, our friend, Mr. Microsoft Edge. Flags are, well, basically there's set, so there's a lot of settings and you can accidentally turn on settings that you didn't want. So let's uh, click plus here, bring up a new tab and you just want to put in edge flags. There we go. And here, turn off all of the experimental stuff. You simply click reset all. There we go. Changes will take effect after you restart edge. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Okay, let's see if this works. Nope, that wasn't it either. Okay, let's keep going. Do the most likely scenario here, which is the most likely fix, which is uh, that your cache, the files that are stored on your local computer are causing a problem here. So how do we clear out your cache? It's not that hard. Click the three dots in the top right hand corner uh, and then drift down to settings. Click on privacy, search and services. And then scroll down a bit and you'll see delete browsing data. So click the choose what to clear and time range, change it to all time. We're going to dump everything. Well, almost everything. We'll keep passwords because they are super handy and the autofill data as well. But let's get rid of the site permissions and previous versions of Edge and media. Fun. Let's dump everything here. So we'll just keep these couple of settings, which is autofill data and passwords. I don't want to lose those. That's there's such a pain to uh, to deal with. We'll dump everything else. So, so let's click clear now. And it'll take a second. Uh, what we do is close the browser and then go back. We can close the settings and let's see if YouTube's coming up now. I hope so. Come on. Nope, still not working. Well, let's move on to a complete reset of the browser. So click the three dots in the top right hand corner. Uh, click on settings. That'll take you to your Microsoft Edge settings. And you here you will see reset settings fourth from the bottom. Click on that. Reset settings to their default values. Yeah, I want to reset everything. Let's click reset. Settings reset. Let's close and start up Edge again. See what we get. There we go. Yay. Now you'll see that that reset didn't flush my favorites. And let's try to sign in and see if it flushed my credentials. It did not. 
I can't show you them here because, well, I don't want you to get in, but <laughs> there we go. I'm in. So what that tells us is there was a setting somewhere in Microsoft Edge that, well, they just didn't like. Which setting it was? Not sure, but that's where we are. Now, just before we leave, we should close this and go turn Smart Screen back on. So let's click Start, go to Settings, Reputation Based, and we want to turn Smart Screen back on. There we go, because that wasn't the problem, and Smart Screen is a really good thing. So hey, if you found this video useful, please give us a big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly here at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.